Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing good. So let us continue with backtracking. There are I think three or four problems left. Okay. And uh, in this video, I will be telling you how we can solve uh, su such kind of questions. Uh, actually, these kind of questions are even there in lead code. And one of them is there in today's uh, lead code September challenge. So I'll be telling you like the similarities in both the problems and we'll discuss both the problems one after another. Before that, I would like to tell you that please do uh, go and subscribe to this channel that is coding lecture. Uh, only 34 subscribers are there. I was expecting more people to subscribe. So please do subscribe to that channel and watch those videos. I'll be uploading one video today also. Okay, I'll be giving frequent reminders. Please don't bother about that because it's a part of the collaboration. So please share the videos with your friends, at least if you are not that interested. So let us see today's problem. It is called tug of war. Given a set of n integers, divide the set into two subsets of sizes n by two each, such that difference of the sum of two subsets is minimum as possible. This problem sounds similar to a problem that we had solved under dynamic programming, which was, I think, partition equals subset sum or something like that. But in this problem, we have to make two subset of similar size, n by two each, such that the difference of each uh, subset, and by difference here, they mean absolute difference. So don't get confused by that. This article is not written so well. So yeah, that's the bad part. And absolute difference of both the subsets is minimum as possible. So if n is even, that is if total number of elements in array is even, that means each subset should have n by two elements. But if n is odd, one should have n plus one by two elements. And the other will have n minus one by two elements. Okay. So this is actually a very simple straightforward problem. Like for example, if we are given this array, okay, we need to tell whether we can divide it into two subsets of size n by two. Over here, what is, what is n? n is six. So n by two, six by two is three. So can we make two subsets of sizes three? First of all, can we make? Yeah, we can make, but we should make in such a way that the absolute difference of sum of both the subsets should be minimum as minimum as possible. So here I can take one subset like this and another like this. So sum of this subset is seven, sum is seven here and absolute difference is zero. So this is minimum. So I need to print these two subsets and also tell the minimum difference. So this problem is same as finding all subsequences. You just have to find all subsequences of uh, input array. You just have to find that. All right. You have to find all the subsequences, but the catch here is it should be of size n by two. Or if it is an odd, uh, if, suppose if n is odd, that means total number of elements is odd, then it should be of size n plus one by two. So that is the catch here. So you should find all subsequences of size n plus one by two. Okay, whether it is odd or even because n plus one by two will work for both cases when n is odd as well as when n, n is even. You just have to find all the subsequences of this array of size n plus one by two find that sum okay and the remaining sum will be total sum of the array minus sum of uh, suppose you're finding all, and storing these uh, elements you have the subsequence that you found you're storing this in set one so, so total sum of array minus sum of set one will be equal to sum of set two, but most important condition is the size of your set one should be n plus one by two. That is most important here. So this problem is nothing but finding the subsequences of this input array, that's all. 
so here that inclusion exclusion principle works you either include one uh, you you either include an element in the first set or you don't include it and you include it in the second set it means see here so when i wrote the two subsets like 214 and 313 how i did it okay i included two here so this is going to set one then i said okay let this also go to set one then this went to set two so the element 3 i excluded it from set one and put it in set two so this is set one this is set two right then i told okay let us include four so you have to try out all possible combinations all possible combinations you have to try out so what will be the time complexity if n is the size of the array total number of possibilities will be 2 power n total number of subsequences will be 2 power n so you can do further optimization by checking if size of set 1 is exceeding n plus 1 by 2 if it is exceeding n plus 1 by 2 then you don't have to continue further just uh, exit from that process so most important is size of set 1 should be n plus 1 by 2 because then automatically size of set 2 will be n minus 1 by 2 which is satisfying right so it is sufficient to check only this condition that size of set 1 is n plus 1 by 2 or not and ultimately we need to print the corresponding sets that is we need to print two one four under set one and three one three under set two and what is the minimum difference zero we need to print this so this is purely based on inclusion exclusion principle what so i'll show you the code now see i've taken the array that is given in the gfg problem only as the input okay and n so this part i have copied from a gfg only this is the input part right then i am taking two arrays array 1 array 2 actually this is set 1 set 2 so over here i have written set 1 set 2 here i have taken it as array 1 array 2 and my input array is called arr okay then i am taking a boolean array called uh, result why is this uh, array needed because i have to know which element belongs to set 1 and which element belongs to set 2 because see i will uh, try to find out all possible combinations and every time i will get a better answer what is what does a better answer mean see here answer is what absolute minimum difference minimum absolute difference right if this minimum absolute difference of the sum of two sets is better than my previous answer then i will have a new answer every time right so the latest answer i need to know which element belongs to set 1 which element belongs to set 2 so that is why i am taking a boolean array called result it will just say true or false true means the array will the element belongs to set 1 false means it belongs to set 2 so i am passing all these uh, the arrays and variables in, as parameters to this function called tug of war okay then i am printing uh, array 1 and array 2 how am i printing sorry i am printing set 1 and set 2 how am i doing that sorry for that so if result of i is true that means it belongs to set to uh, set 1 so i'll print that first because i'm printing set 1 elements first if result of i is false it belongs to set 2 so print that and i've taken a variable called difference it will tell me the minimum difference initially it is int max infinity so what is happening in this tug of war in tug of war function okay basically i will include an element in the first set in the array 1 i will include it then i will recursively call this function again notice that sum 1 has increased sum 1 is equal to sum 1 plus array of i because i have included the ith element 
so in this array one i am just pushing the index i am just pushing the index of the element that i am including okay so like this it will happen and once i reaches n that is we have traversed the entire array then it will check if the size of array 1 is equal to n plus 1 by 2 or not if it is equal to n plus 1 by 2 so this is first condition this is top priority the size should be n plus 1 by 2 then we'll check if uh, we are getting a smaller difference of some one and some two then we'll record that difference okay then in our result uh, array boolean array we'll we'll initialize all uh, indices as false then whichever indices belongs to set 1 that will be set to true and because uh, when we are passing we are passing array right so it will always uh, be changed in memory so we don't have to worry about that and that is why whenever we find a better answer we need to make all the uh, all the indices as false because we need to know which element belongs to set 1 and set 2 finally at the end we need to tell that only what is our set 1 what is our set 2 it is not just telling what is the minimum difference okay so that happens here and then we will pop back so this is the backtracking step we will pop back the last element the latest element from set 1 after popping it back which means we are excluding it we are not taking that we will include the same element in uh, set 2 we will include the same element in set 2 and do the same thing whatever we did for set 1 with set 2 so set 2 also will increase now sum 2 is sum 2 plus array of i so whatever happens with set 1 will happen with set 2 also okay so this backtracking might look little complicated that is why this problem can be easily understood with the help of bit mask so if you know bit mask it is very easy to do so backtracking might be little confusing but it is see it is basically that only you just have to find out all the combinations that is all the subsequences and the best possible answer in that that's all complete brute force see in today's lead code challenge we are given this problem maximum length of concatenated string with unique characters why i am taking this problem in this video is to show you how you can use bit mask instead of backtracking to find out all possible subsequences so pause the video and read this statement it says that given an array of strings string s is concatenation of subsequence of array which have unique characters return maximum possible length of s so we need to uh, concatenate uh, uh, the uh, strings of the array and they can be subsequences or subarrays whatever okay but the final string should have all unique characters it means see here for example un if you con if you concatenate this string un with uh, this string ue then it will be wrong because u occurs multiple times but if you concatenate the first two strings u and i q then you will get all unique characters and this is the best possible answer or even this can be best possible answer but ultimately length is going to be 4 only so the reason of uh, reason why i took this problem is see here also we have to generate all the subsequences and after we have generated the subsequences we need to check for this condition that all unique characters are there so how to check for all unique characters just find the frequency of all the characters if frequency of a character becomes greater than 1 and over here all english uh, lower case alphabets only are there so that is why 26 is array size if frequency of a character is greater than 1 that means it is not unique otherwise return the size of that string so how to generate the sequences how many sequences will be there 2 power n so find out total number of sequences 2 power n okay and then see this is the bit mask i and 1 left uh, left shift j 
so this is how you find the this is how you find the subsequences this i have discussed in uh, my bit manipulation this dsa sheet has bit manipulation videos right you go and watch that there you will get to know what is that bit mask rule reason of discussing here is just to show the subsequence part so you can apply the same logic to solve this problem also this tug of war problem you don't have to use backtracking you can directly use uh, bit mask here so what changes you'll be making to this problem here i want you to figure that out i'll just give you a hint see here we are, when we say i and uh, one left shift j that means we are going to include this so if this condition is true we are going to include the jth element see subsequences will be like this right 0001 suppose uh, n is equal to 3 so if there are three elements we can have eight subsequences so how do we get eight subsequences what does it mean here 001 it means that don't include these two elements include the element this with one so one is for inclusion zero is for exclusion right so that is what is happening here also we are including this element if this condition is true so in this problem also we have to do the same so try to implement now i have given you a hint here also you have to do the same right ultimately we are doing inclusion exclusion only so th both these problems can be solved like that only I'll, if i run both i'll show because if you use backtracking it will be heavy on memory backtracking the recursion it will take lot of space whereas here in bit manipulation you won't take that much space and see here this problem tug of war i'm getting set 1 as these elements and set 2 as these elements total number of elements in this array is 11 one L, one uh, set has six elements n plus 1 by 2 and another has n minus 1 by 2 elements so correct only and minimum difference of both uh, minimum difference of sum of absolute sum of these two subsets is 1 so this is how you solve these two problems simple inclusion exclusion subsequence problem it is actually easily you can do with bit manipulation try to do this problem with the help of this code okay so i hope you really like the explanation you have understood how to do it and you will try this by yourself now the bit manipulation hit the like button it helps the algorithm subscribe to the channel we are very close to 4000 subscribers please do subscribe and share the video with all your friends as much as possible it will really help me get a better reach and it might help them also so until the next video take care stay safe keep learning keep growing stay tuned bye